Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In the Angular web series, we understand the architecture of a project, lifecycle hooks, the binding in Angular 11 supports. Now in this video, we are going to learn about the module. So before proceeding further, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the latest notification of my videos. Thank you. Now let's go to the Visual Studio code. Here I will open one folder where I will create the new application in the Angular 11. Let this will be the, my path. Choose your path and then open the terminal where we write the command to create the application, right? So ng new app, ng space new is the command and app, app is a, your application name, press enter. So when you press enter it will ask you to set some configuration let's set the configuration we'll say yes we will add the routing as well say yes i'll go with the css press enter see when you press enter it it loads some dependencies it took at least five minutes or more than five minutes so we'll leave as it is i have created with the same configuration in the same way of one application so let's switch to the other visual studio and i will close this one no worries so now this is the default application right where src is the parent folder app is the child folder so inside the app we will see that there is an one default module is created which is called app module so let's see what is the inside the app module <coughs> see there are few dependencies and there are ng module decorators there then bootstrap is there like so we'll understand one by one so these are the, the dependencies you require to move further or you you require to execute your angular 11 application under declaration section you can inject your or you can write your uh, new com new component your directive your pipes there is only one component till now so we'll create more component we can keep adding here and we'll keep adding the name of a component inside the declaration so when you create a new module see the, there is only one module which is app uh, dot model dot ts file so we'll create more module we'll keep adding here like and bootstrap bootstrap means when you uh, when you run your application so for on the uh, first time what content will be going to show on the browser so app component uh, is the uh, default bootstrap file so you go to your uh, app component dot ts file see the template url so uh, with the app component ts file this particular html is attached so app component dot html is the html file which is attached with this component so whatever the content is inside app component dot html it will be shown first time right so this is the purpose of bootstrap we can change the component name that's not the worry right now let's go to and create one more uh, module before creating more module let's understand what how you can create the number of module you need to create let's go to next slide see we are now going to talk about e-commerce side because many people are aware of and are using see in order to create one e-commerce application what you need you need login page customer interface back office interface order based payment right so these are the five models that you required for a, for this project e-commerce you can categorize into more that's not the worry but they, these are the main right so let's create uh, the first one will, will be the login and then second could be i say customer fourth third will be your back office and fourth module could be orders and fifth module will, will be payment so these five module could be inside one e-commerce application we can categorize more that depend on the requirement right so what is the command to create new module it's ng g you can write generate but if you leave g that will also work m we can write the full text module or we can leave with m right 
and our module name I'll say customer press enter so it will create one folder with the name customer and it will add one module.ts file inside the customer let's see we have press enter now it's created under this customer folder there is one module file is created see here everything is blank because we have created a fresh file right now we know that in order to write your code we need html file and ts file i mean component.ts file right so we'll create one component for this we we need to create one component under this particular folder customer so how you will create a one component under the uh, customer folder ng g for generate c for component space c you can write the component text but c is the alias for component so i will say customer or we can say login or customer login right customer login press enter now if we write as it is it will create the component outside this uh, uh, customer folder but we need to create the component inside so write your uh, folder name then your component name press enter so it will add one component inside the customer folder with these default four files I have also explained that while creating new component, you can reduce the number of files. I mean, these two files are mandatory. HTML and TS file are mandatory for a component, but CSS and specs.ts we can remove from the angular.json file. If you if you do the some setting here, I have shown in my previous video. I will I'll share in the description box. Right. Now, if we open this. Wow. So one component is created and let's see the module.ts file. Now when you whenever you create your component inside any particular module, automatically your component is added under the under the declaration section. You don't need to add manually. Correct? Now what we will do, we will show the text or we will load the text of an customer login component when the website first time load let's see how we can do it for here we will export we will export the customer login component and save the file let's get back to our main module this will be the main module and all these could be we can see the child module or the uh, sub module right app module will be the parent now we need to load the dependency on the main uh, module import from then the path I would say customer or we can say just type it customer uh, app It should pop up there's then only i mean okay slash okay yeah now it's cover customer slash customer module because we need to load the module so once you access the module then everything and inside this particular module you can able to access the customer module name so you go to your module file so whatever the name of this class it will automatically i mean come here copy and you need to paste inside the import section so under the declaration your new component your pipe and directive will be here and under the import section we can declare our module and other dependencies so now uh, go to the, okay let's run the uh, web application ng serve using this command it will compile and we can see the result on the web browser now uh, at the same time we'll open the html so there are lots of html we don't need um, such html so we'll remove uh, the unnecessary text we simply say the parent component or inside this h2 we'll say parent component correct and here we load the child component 
from the custom module and we'll go to the ts file just copy the selector come to your parent HTML component.html file and write like this save the file now whatever the text is written here so when your application will load we see that the app component is the default bootstrap file so once it will load so it will load your component login text as well right so now ng server is running in mode so we'll see the result when it successfully compiled it's coming up in it will take hardly 40 to 50 seconds yes compiled up now open the chrome and just type your local for 200 now you can able to change the port name as well see the customer login work that means the text of an parent component and the text from the other module is all is loaded right so in this way you can divide the uh, your project into module and you can work like this in this way and <clears throat> so i hope uh, this example will work for you if you have any question please mention the question in the comment box i will be very happy to answer thank you for watching and please like and subscribe this channel thank you so much